Cincinnati's certified most accurate forecast. All right, clouds have hung in there a little bit longer tonight, and as a result, temperatures have leveled out close to freezing, but you know what? They're going to get out of here soon, and eventually we'll really see those temperatures begin to drop. It's not a bad night, given the fact that it's late February out there. It's 33 degrees right now at the airport. We've got ourselves a light northwesterly wind. Most areas, give or take a degree on either side of the freezing mark now. It's 30 in Peebles, 31 in Wilmington, 33 Mason Loveland, Florence Walton as well, 35 in Warsaw, also down there around Owenton tonight. Here's a preview of what to expect for your Saturday. The weekend looks very nice around here. It'll be a cold start in the morning, but at least sunshine will be back. Tomorrow afternoon looks very nice. Expect plenty of sun. It'll be a tad bit on the breezy side, so you may not really realize the warm up or at least how warm it actually is tomorrow with temperatures climbing up close to 50. There's that brisk southwesterly breeze and then tomorrow evening winds will begin to relax as temperatures start to cool off and will drop back into the mid 40s. Here's a look at the weather map tonight. You can see we still got these clouds and they're pretty much situated right over Indiana and Ohio tonight, but the back edge is quickly moving towards the Indiana Illinois state line. That is high pressure is going to ease its way into the Ohio Valley for the weekend and really bring us a splendid weekend of weather here. We're talking lots of sunshine highs in the 50s tomorrow and then 60s as we get into Sunday. Here's a look at future cast. The clouds will clear out of here. Expect plenty of sun as we head into your day on Saturday and then it looks like as we head into Sunday looking very, very nice. Now things will begin to change late Sunday night, but that will be well after dark. After dark, I think some clouds will begin to get in here and then around midnight or very close to that. It looks like we'll see a narrow band of showers scoot its way through the area. Shouldn't be a big deal. Won't amount to much in the end, but we'll see that scoot through and then we'll break back out in the sunshine for Monday. Enjoy the lull and the quiet weather early next week because March is going to come roaring in like a lion. We've got two not one, but two big systems we're watching as we head into next week. 26 for an overnight low tonight underneath clearing skies. Again, over the next couple of hours, we should begin to see those clouds scour out. Sunny, breezy, and milder tomorrow. Look for a high around 50. Here's a look at your day planner. 28 at 8 a.m., 45 by lunchtime, and then cruising our way into the 50s as we make our way into the afternoon hours. Here's a look at your seven-day forecast. All right, we'll drop down into the upper 30s over the weekend, but it won't be quite as chilly across the area. And there's a look at your showers for Sunday night with temperatures in the 60s during the day. All right, not bad on Monday in the 50s, but there's one of two big systems on Tuesday. Highs will be in the 60s. A lot of wind could even see some thunderstorms in there Tuesday night, and then that second system will bring some cooler weather. You always know something's happening with the weather when you see 60s one day and then 30s the next day. But Mike and Shree, we are looking at a perfect weekend right. around the area. All right, Kevin.